Now you might say that uh, we have seen we have seen histograms and PDFs and box plots, right? Of course, both of them have their own advantages and disadvantages. So why don't we actually combine both these plots and get the best of both worlds? Such a plot is called a violin plot. While the name is, is very melodramic, it's a very simple idea and it's a very useful one. I really like these plots because it gives us the best of both worlds very simply. So again, violin plots are very simple to draw using your Seaborn. It's just a one line command, very similar to what we saw earlier, except that you have to say violin plot. Right? So let's look at the plot and what it is and how it works for us. Again, as usual, we have our Setoza here, we have our Versicolor here and Virginica here. Uh, uh, a violin plot looks like, this, this looks like a violin, right? Like somebody playing a violin, right? So it has it, it has both the components. So let's, let's, see, let's see how it works. So what it's doing literally is this black, this thick black area. Okay, let me change the color here. This thick black area that you're seeing is your box plot box, right? This is your box plots box, right? With the white color in center being your 50th percentile, the top corner being your 75th percentile, the bottom one, your 25th percentile. And these are your whiskers, right? So it actually internally um, already has box plots. So here, this is your 50th percentile, 75th percentile, 25th percentile, your lower whisker and upper whisker. Similarly here, the median, 75th, 25th, lower whisker, upper whisker. So your violin plot already has your uh, your box plot inside it. Then you might ask, what is this plot that you're seeing on the sides? Again, this is symmetric to this, right? So if, if you just turn around and look at it like this, look at it like this, this is nothing but, this, this looks exactly like your bell curve, right? So this also looks exactly like your bell curve. So what violin plot does is violin plot plots the probability distribution functions or probability density function, sorry, or your histogram on the side, right? It, it's actually, so if, if you turn your head a little and see them, what you see is your Setoza's distribution, your Versicolor's distribution, and your Virginica's distribution. So your violin plot is basically taking both your, your density plots or uh, your uh, histogram, your smooth histogram, which is your probability density plot, and just taking your uh, your box plot and merging both of them into a single plot. And of course, this is this is again useful because it gives you the best of both worlds. You know what the distribution looks like because from this diagram, I know that the distribution looks like a Gaussian, Gaussian distribution. Again, those of you who don't know what a Gaussian distribution is, please don't worry. But some of you who might have encountered this in your probability class, this looks like your bell curve, right? So we'll, we'll discuss this, I promise you, we'll discuss this in great detail when we learn basics of probability and statistics, okay? So, but it also has your box plot. So it has the best of both worlds and you can read off this what the 75th percentile value, what the 25th percentile value is. And uh, typically I would prefer to do either a box plot or, uh, or sometimes a violin plot because it gives us the best of both worlds. Very, very simple and elegant idea.